old school? No, it's in this freaking garage right here. Ooh, it should be interesting. Hey everybody, I've got some extra footage from last weekend. My brother and I stopped off at this garage sale. We'll only be in here for a minute. And then we're going to head to an indoor flea market to look at some baseball cards. We'd been there a while ago, but we're going to check and see if it has expanded at all. All right, good. Well, this garage sale, just as soon as I walked in there, I knew that it wasn't promising. A lot of the stuff that they had, it seemed like they had just purchased at like some discount store and just put it in their garage to flip and make a profit on. Not really a true garage sale. Really disappointing, but to not be rude, I stuck around as long as I could with my brother. Pretty sweet. 300. Look. Look at this. We got out of there quickly and headed to this flea teak. And last time we were here, it was pretty empty with just, it seemed like just some baseball cards that were probably put there by the owner. And we were happy to see today that this store is making some progress. Good different stuff. Buy three, get one free. So four for twenty. Two for a dollar. That was still a sign. Oh, they were last time too? Yeah, they were cheaper than the last time. Four for ten. Still the same prices on that. Two for twenty-five. Those all should be five bucks. Yeah, I know. Everyone The binder for ten. Eighty-seven top right box, forty-eight dollars each. So I guess it's like fifteen. A whole case of them? I didn't know this came by the case like that. I guess it's the whole player. I have this one. I don't have this one. Like 17 cents a piece at that one store in the mall. How much do you sell it for? It's 
called drawing thing. EJ has one of these, he loves it, but I feel like it's going to get broken soon, so I might buy another one. Yeah, a dollar for a turtle's backpack, or travel bag. Three dollars for all cloths. Look how these clothes. Light bulbs for 25 cents and 50 cents. There's a couple new people in here. Ten dollars. They're not even PSA tens. There's a huge price gap between like. It's a gigantic yeah, price gap between a 9 and a 10. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, he definitely uh, put boost in there. That's not bad. Cause like if you bought this place, you, I would literally like load this up with wax boxes, yeah. maybe like some five thousand count boxes for like ten cent cards in there. Yeah, well, cause my wax boxes would not be twelve, yeah, twelve fifty or whatever. I'd go and buy like that case of those hockey cards and sell them for five dollars a box. Put ninety Fleer in there for five dollars a box. Oh look, here it is. these are 65 each, it looks like. No, that's, I guess that's how much it would cost to get these. Yeah. Huh. If these were all filled up with baseball card box, that would be pretty sweet. I mean, it's different. I think it was in the middle of the store last time. They definitely moved these over. These are cool. Jumbo packs, 89. some of these boxes, I don't want to say $13. If I need 88 tops, I need 91 tops. It's an 88 yeah. traded set for three. Yeah, I know. I'd rather just buy a case of like, for like 100 any item on this rack, ten dollars. For 30 days. I definitely want to get. I definitely want people to come in here and set up bunches of baseball cards. It's pricey for you know, traffic in here. I mean, looks like there's more people coming in here now. It's pretty cool. It's a buck? Yeah. Pretty sure. I'll get 
this. I'm sure someone else would like Nolan Ryan, I can send it off to him. See these uh other sellers have nice prices. There's a safe. So that's what good for. That's seven bucks. That's a key safe. Yeah, especially because they're hundred forty dollars. Yeah. This one's hundred fifty. Just bring in your table and you're all set. I'm gonna move by the summertime. This place is filled up with vendors. Yeah, no, you've seen this too. There's a Cervelli baseball, Dale Murphy baseball. I think those were the last time I want to say. Seven, stupid. I think it's a fifty-two bone or fifty. Last time there's an Eddie Murray. Wasn't there an Eddie Murray like seventy-nine top set in there? Yeah. There's like top sets in there. Those are gone. I wonder if they just give up. What the eighty two top three? Mm. I feel like these are all back at prices down here. Yeah, twenty five. It, it doesn't it book for twenty five? Yeah, twenty or twenty five. I mean I can usually I usually find the wire for five to ten bucks. Seventy six baseball cups. Yeah, that's new. I don't, know, I don't trust in person autographs. Yeah, no, you can buy a couple of boxes and do like you, like the live streams and stuff. But Two thousand three plum team, a dollar for random kids. Hundred bucks. Bucket of bucket of baseballs. Wait, a dollar pack over here?
three bucks is closed on it. They definitely just picked it right off of there. Okay, I don't have much of a recap because I gave the bag that I bought to my kids with the little uh, Etch-A-Sketch drawing thing of the Nolan Ryan baseball, which I got for a buck. A lot of the cars that they had there, the wax boxes there were nice, but for $13 a piece, um, me being a reseller on eBay where I um, take packs and make lots out of them, I really wouldn't make much profit if I was buying those. So uh, the store is improving. They have lots of shelves in there now. I could see buying like a little cubby with all those shelves and just filling it up with a 5,000 count box or two for like 10 cent boxes and some wax boxes. Uh, packs and stuff like that. I think that might do pretty well. I'm going to monitor that place and eventually I'd like to uh, put all of my stuff in, not all my stuff, but a lot of my cards, like my extra cards and stuff, into one of these flea teaks where I don't have to do anything but maybe go once a week and just uh, update my inventory and add stuff and then they just sell it for me and I get a check every month. That's something that I want to do. Uh, I can't have a card shop right now and at this stage of my life because I'm too busy with teaching and my family and YouTube and everything. So uh, card shop is out for now, but this is kind of like the next best, best thing, having a little uh, booth in a Fleet Teak summer. Either this place, Hokie G's, maybe a place in Washington, PA, or something like that. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, show you that footage because I had two other videos planned that I was going to work on today. One of them I decided to scrap the idea. Another one I tried to make the video, uh, but it just didn't turn out the way I liked it. So I went back to last weekend and decided to use this footage of this place. Just to give you an update on the fall of the flip, I have two baseballs. I'm on step two of my fall of the flip, and I'm trying to get a 1952 Topps PSA Mickey Mantle graded card. Uh, and once I get it, I'm going to give it away to you guys in a contest. But my second step is I had two of these baseballs. I sold one of these tonight. So Josh, I saw your purchase. You are now a finalist for the 52 Mickey Mano once I get it. Um, I'll send that baseball out to you on Tuesday since the post offices are closed tomorrow. We still have one left, one more baseball to go. Uh, if anyone wants to buy it, the link is in the description. And then I will be able to buy my third item, which should be about a... 40 to $50 items, so we're starting to move up the uh, chain here. I uh, need to get $10,000 by, I'm hoping to have it done by sometime this summer. I think that'd be pretty cool, so I can give away that mantle to all you guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching and subscribing, and thank you to my brother for appearing in my videos. I hope you go over and uh, subscribe to his channel. He did a nice live stream tonight opening some vintage wax packs. It was pretty awesome, so I'll put the link in the description if you'd like to subscribe to my brother. And I will see all of you later. Okay, everybody, the January giveaway is your choice of one of these three boxes. I have a box of 2018 Big League, sealed and unopened, a box of 2018 Top Series 1, sealed and unopened, and a 2018 Tops Factory Set, sealed and unopened. All you have to do to win one of these is simply comment on all of my videos. The more you comment and also the more videos you watch and comment in, the better your chances are of being drawn as the winner. So I draw the winner at the end of every month in a live stream. So I hope that you'll be able to participate in this giveaway by commenting and interacting with all the great subscribers that I have. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you later. I'd also just like to take one quick second and thank all 59 of my Patreon patrons, especially these five, though. These are my top-tier guys. We got Tommy, Darren, and then Tom A., Big K's Cards and Collectibles, and finally, Terry. Uh, and two of these guys have YouTube channels. You got T's Baseball Life, that's Terry's channel, and also Big K's Cards and Collectibles. Go check them out on YouTube and subscribe, everybody.